This gluing up and filling the gaps and then working on the other zebra has taken me quite a long time. So I'm thinking about splitting the video, the complete video into two. So it'll be like a two part video. And then I'll probably put this part in the beginning. So hi all, Sai here. I'm gonna make two zebras and I'm gonna name them Estrabo and Ronbo. Don't you know, have no fear, Sasquatch finally here. You know it's our show. Don't you fuck us, she's so young. Hey y'all, Sai here. I got some wood from my friends who are missionaries in Ecuador. They sent me wood from Ecuador. They said it was from a tree that was growing next to where they lived in the jungle somewhere out there. So here it is. And it's this really, really pretty red color. And there were two pieces, one was darker. And when I cut it, it's that red color. So very heavy, pretty wood. And trying to figure out what to make with it, I think I'm gonna to try to make a zebra. Here is the zebra pattern that I'm working from. It is a Judy Gale Roberts pattern that I purchased. I am going to make a bunch of copies of this and then, and then cut it up in the sections I want to cut two different colors at one time because the, the, the different pieces on the zebra, you know, it'd just be easier to cut two at once and then, you know, switcheroo colors or whatever. Anyway, so I have been trying to think how I'm going to do this, if I'm going to, you know, glue them together or what. Then I happened upon a video by Charles Deering and he was using his scroll saw and he was making some signs and he made three signs at once and he used brads. It's amazing I know what that is, brad nails. So I am going to try to do that. Not sure how that's gonna work, but We'll try it. Well, that worked out. That is how I'm hoping to do the entire piece. Just about all the pieces of the zebra are cut out now. It's really cool, because I saw Charles Deering's technique of using the nails to nail two boards together. Then I saw Lynn's technique with the hot glue on the Darwin Orver channel of hers. And I, I have links to both of theirs down in the description. But anyway, I have the pieces cut out and then they're still glued together. So we're going to see how easy that is to snap that apart. I'm excited about it. So there's hot glue holding this. Ah, look at that. 
Woo! Yeah! Yes! So I'm going to continue and separate all these pieces and I have the two different zebras going. So I have all of the pieces separated now and I have the two zebras all cut out and ready to start sanding. So that's that one. And the other one, it's right over here. Okay, I'm signing this intarsia and I think I'm going to do this differently. Alrighty folks, I am gluing up this zebra and it's kind of like a cheater move for intarsia, I think. Especially since I'm going to fill in all the gaps. So, I've, so far I've glued up sections like this. And this looks actually really nice. And there's going to be a little bit of gap there that I'm going to have to fill in with red. And I glued this section. I glued this section and I sanded it a little bit. And I'm going to have to fill that in with some red. And I fill that in with some white it looks like. So I have some other sections gluing up down on the floor, but in the meantime, I can sand these sections. I like that. That's nice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill up those gaps with a little concoction of the dust and some super glue. So let's try that now. I'm letting that dry and on the other zebra I am doing it like regular intarsia. Since I'm making two zebras at once I figured I should name them. So I'm going to name one Astrobo and the other Ronbo. This gluing up and filling the gaps and then working on the other zebra has taken me quite a long time. So I'm thinking about splitting the video, the complete video into two. So it'll be like a two part video. And then I'll probably put this part in the beginning. So hi all, Sai here. I'm going to make two zebras and I'm going to name them Astrobo and Ronbo.